Hello everybody and welcome back to what is honestly probably for sure for real 100% the finale of this uh, this campaign of Banners of Ruin. Will we do another one or not? I'm not sure. Uh, but honestly, holy moly, this has been a doozy. We're what? This is the, the fifth episode or something? That's crazy. Five episodes for the one campaign. I mean... In a sense, it's kind of satisfying because you kind of get to be a little bit more attached to your deck, attached to your characters. It's kind of like a, um, it's, it's less of thinking it like a Slate Aspire run and more like thinking of it as a very compact Darkest Dungeon run. Because, like, Darkest Dungeon takes, what, like 70 hours? 60, 60 episodes or something at the very least uh, to complete. Where, you know, this is like a compact version of that instead of a, a very, very long version of Slate Aspire is kind of my thought process right now. Uh, just checking out our deck right here again. We do have the, um, the Flurry Nowhere, is it? Focus Fire. It's our big boy. Our, our make the big number happen. Other than that, we got the, uh, a bunch of multi-strikes and ways to slowly generate lots of toxic, uh, toxic cascade stuff, poison. And we even have a couple strange mists up in the mix. I have so much money. Here's my thing. I'm really like, I really wish we could find a tavern to recruit new, new characters. Like when we got money. I know, I, I'm pretty sure we picked a little bit ago between doing that and maybe like healing or something. It was a situation that was a little bit spookier. Uh, okay, zone of control deal 20 damage to opponents lame. Well, thank you for all picking Islington, I suppose. In a weird sense, that is kind of helpful. Because it's not piercing to hit both Ruffersmith and Dannington. I mean, I don't like it. In fact, I, I do hate it quite a bit. And we are going to... Uh, I mean, Dannington, we could... Switch him up here so he takes the hit instead. I don't think we want to do that. I don't think we do want to do that. I think they have a pierce and I think they have a uh, an AoE in the same lane. So honestly, I think we truly just leave everything exactly how it is. Get a little bit of extra armor there. You're going to take basically 40 damage. Which, I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do about that? I, I, just, I have no clue. Uh... Do we really want to do... Because we could do the dash. I think we have to... Fine. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Why can't we... Wait, okay. So that's the big thing I don't get. Why can't I uh, switch within my own... Like, little lane there? That thing... That confuses me. Alright. Focus down the one in the middle. Because he's got just a little bit less health. Do a good enough amount there. Seven bleed. Seven bleed. Two poison. Not too shabby. I mean, if everybody's in the same lane, we can hit the uh, the AoE heal quite a bit better. Yeah, this is truly just... That is exactly... Yup, that's exactly what it was. It's 60 damage to Islington and nothing to do about it. Boy, that sucks. At least we got the 16 armor every single time. And here comes the disaster. Yep, 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 yep. Here comes the disaster. Uh, whose heal is this? It's yours. I mean, we probably should do it. Swap them to target position. First of all, get out of here. That gave them all charge. So that does, that sucks. Okay, uh, Strange Mist, fine. I want to heal. I'm a little concerned what will happen if we, you know, we don't. Outnumber Toxic Cascade. Whenever they gain a status effect, they also gain two. We should have done this right away. That would have definitely been uh, quite helpful. Flurry. If dual wielding apply plus one, we might as well. I would love to war cry, of course. But that just puts me right back up in there. We could have done this in a much better way. Uh, absolutely. Apply. Yeah. Let's just get that on for next turn. We could have done this so much better. Islington's gonna get kind of toasted. I don't know. These pointy halberdier, halberdier boys. 
are kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell am I supposed to do there? I just... What the hell am I supposed to do? Islington is just... Is going to die, like, right now, isn't he? The hell am I supposed to do? Okay, we got Reckless. That's almost certainly going to be a good idea. Uh, let's see, let's see. Do we have any multi-strike? Shrapnel. Uh, Shrapnel's our only attack? No, okay. Arterial Rupture. See, it's not going to take that much to kill you, though. It's So that's why I'm kind of wondering if... So we get plus 12 here. If we do this, it's 17 damage. 17 plus 14 is going to be 21, 31. Oh my god, it's going to be 37 damage. That's really annoying. Oh no. Unless we second wind... Second wind rising storm... Shrapnel on Ruffersmith instead. Like, obviously, we're missing out on just so much. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. This is, it's a tough decision. Because obviously, Arterial Rupture could do, like, a lot here. I mean, what else is it going to do, right? If I attack with, I guess, like, right? Just do it. Just, just, just do it. Because we don't have bleed on anybody else. This should be plenty. This should be absolutely plenty. He should be completely, yeah, he's overwhelmingly completely toast. Uh, and then I guess the question is, second wind? And hope... I say second wind and hope we draw a multi strike there. Um, do we want to focus fire? We need to reckless aid too. So I, I think I want to focus fire you down, even if we're not going to end up do be doing anything. I don't think it. Just do that. Get a little bit of bleed on there. Okay. Sure. Reckless aid, protect Islington. Otherwise, he's going to die. And in fact, he honestly is probably going to die anyways. Ruffer Smith's about to take a big old smacking. This is all just really not going <laughs> not going well at all. Uh, but now we have two to deal with, which is, you know, significantly better than having uh, what we had before. Holy jeez Louise. Like, just 60 damage. 60 damage on one target on turn one is actually insane to me. It's actually insane to me. Okay, so we have an extreme amount of, uh, of magic going on here with this multi-strike here. Uh, set up. That should do it, right? In theory, that should do it. 19 times 5. With vulnerability, this should be more than enough. Unbelievably more than enough. We pr probably should have even put the vulnerability on somebody else. Okay, so this 10 damage is going to Islington, which doesn't really matter. Okay, okay, okay. Here, yeah, you just brace yourself, you dingus. Momentum, get rid of the halberd because it's just not going to do anything. Multi-strike, we get a little bit of the bleed off at the very least. Everything is, pretty much every multi-strike is just better on Dannington. Just across the board. This is just bonus boy damage, this is all this is. Bonus boy damage. God dang, Islington. You really had to hurt my heart like this. Hopefully we can shuffle and draw. What the hell? Wait, what happened? Oh my god. Okay, so you're only attacking him. Good. I thought you were going to pierce and do some bleed to Islington, because bleed bleed would kill us. Deal all of, remove all of your armor. Deal damage equal to the amount lost. I mean, like, yeah, of course I want to. Okay. 
Okay. First of all... Multi-strike blast. Blast. We actually probably got a kill here. The thing is, like, do I want to do it or do I want to wait for a heal? We, can on we only have one heal and it would be for Islington. I think that it is unwise to even do that, though. I think it's unwise to wait and see because, I mean, that could be a problem. Ooh. Ah! I don't know. Seems good. Please give me a way to heal. Modify talents here party. We're going to heal the party for sure. Please give me a place to hire somebody. Please give me some way to hire somebody. We have so much. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a big thing. We have so much money. All right, let's do some math. We could buy both of them, if you're good. It's another bear. He's got a bow. We th Here's the thing. We have to keep in mind everything they have gets added to our deck. Discard all ruin cards. Doesn't seem like a great set of stuff for our deck. Uh, deal eight damage to a target and all enemies of the same race. Eh. Deal weapon damage. They have no allies. Deal weapon damage X times for every stack of... Of uh, winded, this character has. See, a lot of this is not wowing me. Whenever this character gets damage, they get poison. Okay. What's our final one? It's a beaver! Oh, okay. So he's got a dagger, uh, one dagger and a shield. I mean, I'm happy that he's got the dagger. Gain 10 shield and then apply 5 to an. Okay, discard all skills in hand. Draw that many. Party gains five. Gain two standard for each status effect on target. Okay. No matter what, you're hired. You work well in my deck. You're hired. You are hired. Okay, but what else do I want to do? X times for every stack. I mean, we can't trade our armor, can we? We can't take off our armor and put it on somebody else. Is my concern with that. I would love to put, like, I would love to put the heavy armor on him. As a result. We might not get the chance to switch it, though. Uh, start of the turn. Gain anticipation if you don't already have it. Whenever the character kills an enemy with their attack, the maximum vitality. That doesn't matter this late in the game. Whenever this character plays a card costing will, they gain 10 health. That's pretty cool. All bleed applied to this character is converted to poison instead. Like, honestly, your stuff does not feel great. But, like, I, I want an extra body. I think it's important. Uh, deal 8 damage to target and all enemies of the same race. Deal weapon damage. They have no allies. Do it twice more. This seems a little bit... Like, th those cards seem a little bit better for what we've got. All right. I do want to uh, adjust my ranking, though. My combat position. Who? Okay, so Ruffer Smith. Itawick. Itawick. I'd probably like to have in front. I do need Ruffer Smith in front. Denver, I guess. Can be in front. Uh, actually, I, I kind of want Islington in the back. Well, first of all, because he's... One, because he's dying. Two, because he starts out with zero armor. Honestly, so do you. So do you. So does Itawick, but honestly, I just don't care as much about the new ones. I know I probably should, but... Oh, my God. I love this freaking beaver. Oh, my God. All right. Off I go, then. Gold Cloaks. The Warden. I think this is our final boss. We're at zero. We made it to zero. I think this is our final boss. Let me just adjust, make sure there's nothing I can change. There's nothing I can change. So I want to be very, very careful about the only thing I can change, which is my combat position. Unless, also, I wanted to see uh, one more thing. There was apparently da, 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 gameplay speed. I'm going to switch it to fast. Not very fast, fast. That was apparently just added. You can go to very fast, which is, you know, I, I'm super happy. That was added apparently in the last patch. 
the last patch. Discard all skills in hand. Oh boy. I mean, Islington can start to gain a lot of armor over time. Denver and Dannington can too. I guess we don't need three in the front. I guess that's true. Uh, Ruffer Smith starts with heavy armor, so that makes sense for him to be in the front line for turn one. Uh, Denver. Islington starts with nothing. Okay, okay. But it's better for Denver or Dannington to, uh, to be able to take the hit because they can heal over time. All right. I think this is about as good as it gets, baby. Let's end this one way or another. I'm gonna find you. He's got 200 health. Are these all the same race? Hold on. Are these all in the same race? Cornered. I mean, that's irrelevant. Do we draw an extra? Do we draw extra cards for every character we have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. That might be the case. Oh, baby. So what is it? Okay, let's analyze here. Uh, you've got magnificent plate. Start of the combat. Start of the character gains 100 armor. While the character's armor is above 60. All bleed stacks are converted. Do you have that too? All bleed stacks are converted into weakness. All right. Well, that you know, it's a little bit of a bummer. Who's got the highest weapon damage? 12, 12, 10. It's not, surely not going to be you. Okay. Do we kill the warden first? Do we try to kill the warden first? Probably not. Let's kill one of his side boys. The side boys in the front. You know? Tis with tis. I guess we probably should have done the... Uh... Oh, we definitely should have done Denver first and then Dennington. Uh, gain 10 shield and then spawn take cover. Who's going to take a smacking? They're both going to be taking a smacking. 15, 20, 15. I, I mean, I obviously care a little bit more about Ruffersmith. I feel like, you know, we built that character accordingly to our deck. All right, well, at least we get to do this. At least we get to do that. And is there any point to heal? No, you guys are not missing anything. You're missing nothing. You're missing nothing. Oh, he moved to the back line now. Oh, boy. I see some issues now. I see the issues with you. So Ruffer Smith is, is basically tapped there. Eight damage to target and all enemies of the same race. You know, I really, I really, really like that. Because these should all be the same race. We should have definitely prepped you first. Uh, okay, so what's happening? Oh, you can attack the back line. Uh-oh. Islington is pretty solid here. Dannington's got like a little bit to be desired. Oh god, we we really need to be doing this smarter, better, faster, stronger. Okay. For one turn, yeah. This is a very defensive set of stuff here. Let's get rid of strategy. There's no point. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna block some. This is a. This is. It, it, it's, a it's a lot. It's definitely everything. Denver. Denver's gonna die. Are you killing Denver? Okay. Denver's fine. Denver's not gonna die, and the warden's not has not moved. Gain two stamina for each status effect on the target opponent. I mean, you're gonna die, so let's. We might as well get. Oh my God! There's a there's a build in there somewhere. There's a build in there somewhere. Multi strike. We can't get you any. 
Adrenor Lan. So if I move Dannington, Ruffer Smith's gonna take the hit. I guess I would rather have uh, Dannington take it right now. Hmm. Hmm. Might as well do that. Might as well. And then same thing here, may as well. No, oh, he's in the back line. He ruined my deck. Oh no, we're toast. We're toast, man. This is, this is no joke. This is absolutely no joke. <sighs> um, we could have withdrawn and and withdrew and switched Denver with Ruffer Smith. I mean, I'm gonna do it now, I guess. But geez, Louise, man. Oh no, they all gained energy. Oh, this is bad. Is it worth it to ditch Islington's armor? For the cause! We need to get somebody to die. We need to get somebody to die. He's, this is... Oh, it's stacking. Oh, he's stacking. Oh, he's stacking. I feel like I want to get poison on the warden. So we can... Okay, we got... We did, actually. We did. So it can start stacking. Okay, these look like good cards now. But it may be too late. This is... Battle Cry. 18 damage to armor. Applies three... Oh, no. Three winded. All stacks of Womp Womp and Womp are removed from, from himself. Oh my god, Jesus. You are you are something, gang. You are something. Okay. Okay. Pop him. Pop him. 37 plus 15. It's not enough, right? Does he have, whenever he gains a status effect? Okay, so wait, 37 plus 15. Let's get that calculator ready. <laughs> 37 plus 15 we got 52 uh one poison blapper would do it i'm gonna do it right there right 42 plus 15 is 57 that's good enough all right we've got one we've got literally one. Oh no the great sword's on itawick oh god that's fine That's fine. Backline? So we can start to actually hit the Warden? Concealed Blade. Okay, so we only get that with you. So he's actually going to remove the bleed. So since he's going to remove the bleed, I'd rather get that off there while we're actually going to be doing something. That being said, I am super tempted to start actually hitting the Warden. So now we can inflict bleed to the Warden. Which is very crucial. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. He did that much damage to everybody. We're gonna... Oh my god. We're, this boss fight is insane. He, okay, he's dead. This is insane. He's dead. I boy, I wish I could apply the poison to you instead. Uh Jesus Christ. Steals all the shield of the ally with the most armor and moves slash swaps adjacent to them on rank. Oh my god. You are crazy. This boss fight is crazy. Discard all skills. Party gains that. Gains. Wait. 
draw that many, party gains five armor. Okay. I like the spirit of that. I can't believe after all this we're just gonna die, man. Do this to apply the bleed? I think we need to kill this guy, though. I think we need to kill this guy. I just see massive disaster in our in our future otherwise. Okay. Six. How much does it do on whoever it's, it belongs to? It belongs to the dead man! Great, we have trash in our deck now. Okay. Uh, ba 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 Ruffer Smith's gonna die unless we do something about it. Okay. Now Ruffer Smith's not gonna die. Five. You should wait. You, he shouldn't be doing anything. He's gonna die. Alright. Trying to figure out if there's a way I can break with shrapnel six, and it apply, it does apply to, okay. I think we can break it. Yeah, that should break it. Right? Okay, 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 this is, we're out of energy. Okay, this has to go on the water. There's no questions in my mind that that has to go on the warden. I guess we still might as well do this though, right? Just because it's... Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we got another kill. We're toast. But we did get another kill. Okay. What? What? Whose is this? Okay, it's yours. That helps. That's that's great. That's lovely. I mean, we need to do as much damage as we can, obviously, to the back line. That's like, that's the duh thing here. Okay, we're taking 154. I think Islington's dead. I don't think that there's a way we can do nearly enough damage to solve this unbelievable issue that we have in our midst. Islington, it's been nice to know you. You've been an absolute gem of a man. You're doing... Do you get to do that? You get and you get to do that, of course. You get to do that before. Wonderful. So, um I can't even do solid footing with Ruffer Smith, which is okay because that would put him above Islington and he would steal the armor for sure anyways. Pour one out for Islington. Pour one out for Islington. My man, my beautiful man. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. This, now, this is a turn that doesn't hurt my my heart. Uh, he's got ten bleed. He's dead. Like that. That's as good as it gets, basically. Um. Okay. Whenever this character takes more than 20, uh, 25 damage, the damage is ignored and converted to shields! Oh, God, oh, God. 
And he has so... Oh my god. This is so... This just sucks. This just sucks. Ruffer Smith Brace. How are you gaining shield? Whenever this character moves to a new rank, the that rank gains five charge and the original rank gains oh Jesus. Bite me, man. I hate that they're all on the same rank now, too. I hate it. Arterial rupture. This is all okay. Deal 16 damage, targets the opponent with the lowest vitality, and unless the position in front of them is occupied, then the opponent target instead. The final target is in the front line, deals an additional 15 to all opponents in the back rank. I need to move you. If I understand you correctly, which I probably don't, I'm gonna need to move you, my boy. God, I wish we could Toxic Cascade. So that only hits once. Oops. What could possibly go wrong there? All right. This is a lot of little hits, which should be really ideal. And by a lot of little hits, I mean I hit twice. Dannington, my man, it's always been you. You moved him? You moved him. It's always been you, Dannington. It's always been you. Well, thank you for putting him in the front line. That does, you know, it helps a little bit. Eighteen. I don't love it. Don't have any big hits. Which is, I guess, fine. Vulnerable. Foul wound. Hey, that's actually really helpful. That's a really good time to get that. Because now we're going to apply so much poison. That was really good. God, I wish we didn't have so many, like, just straight up dead cards. Okay, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, baby, that was beautiful. It's always been you, Dannington. It's always been you, Ruffersmith. Oh, my God. Thank you for blessing me with one more turn, Ruffersmith. Thank you for blessing me with one more turn. This, I think we killed him. I think we killed the Warden. Right here. Let me do some math. 11, 9. I mean... The warden's dead. We should have waited and killed him with the damage over time, though, because then these guys are going to actually attack, aren't they? Uh, if so, there's nothing I can do to save you, Dannington. If so, there's nothing I can do. Two stamina for each status effect on target. Holy crap. Oh, thank you. That was a really good draw. That was a really good draw. I love that draw. Okay, they're going to hit, aren't they? Oh, they don't. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Ruffer Smith gets a whole extra turn. Oh, my God. Ruffer Smith might live. He just might live. Six times two, eight damage to you and all enemies of the same race. That's actually... 
pretty solid. Oh, I should have. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'm getting, I'm getting frazzled, man. Oh, I'm getting frazzled. We could have done that better. We could have done that better. Ruffer Smith's dead. Long live Ruffer Smith. Ruffer Smith's, Ruffer Smith's alive. Long actually lived Ruffer Smith. We can't break the armor. We 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 bungled it. We bungled it. But I'm fine with this. You know what? In the end, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Long live Robert Smith! My boy! My beautiful boy! Fifteen times three? First of all, hold on. Hold on. Hold the hold the hell on. Twenty fifteen. So we're at thirty-five. We could do 12, which brings it up to, okay, 30, 47. I think we need to, I think we need to rupture, right? If, if we rupture, he's dead. I know this about him. I just, I know that about, I know that about him as a, like, just as a core. I know that boy is batoast if we do that. Okay. Gang, I think we've won, but at what cost? Dannington and Denver. Dannington, it's always been you. It's always been you. We got that bleed off. Good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We beat the game. You emerge victorious after 25 rounds. Oh, God almighty. Victory! Yikes, man. That was a close call. That is That final battle is no joke. The actual, like, the warden, what he's got on his, like, his little moveset is, it's pretty gross. I mean, I feel like there's a couple builds that, he has like a lot of different things that seem to kind of stop big a lot of builds. He doesn't seem like he has anything. Well, he has the one move that cleanses poison. It seems like he um he counters a lot of stuff. He counters big hits very well. He counters uh you know the the bleed builds in the beginning, not in the end, of course, of course. It seems like but none of it seemed like so completely oppressive. It seems like you just can't go for a build that relies 100% on doing one big number because that would just make him that would just make him stronger. But all in all, after all that, we've done it. We beat Banners of Ruin on our uh, our very first run here. That is pretty darn slick. Let's take a moment and look at what some of the unlocks look like. I, I did unlock a couple things after my uh, the run we did on Twitch. We have 12 tokens. You can buy new things. Once per turn, your hand side reaches zero. Draw a card for every ally on this character rank with stamina remaining. That seems like a really fun build to potentially go for. Uh, I just want yeah, I just want to take a look and see what some of the stuff is. At the start of the turn, all stacks of bleed on this character are converted to vitality and removed like these are all I'll, I'll admit these seem super super niche like so the fact that you do have to pick between them i don't know like adding all these to the pool will probably just make certain builds harder to go for but you know there's also all these cards if this character has no armor deal five damage apply bleed to opponent's rank just every at the start of their turn this character no okay is that is this an every turn kind of a thing or just once is very bad if it's just once right because I, I i mean i don't know maybe i'm overvaluing will deal four damage x times for each banish card banish this card there's definitely some really fun things oh my god all party members gain four bleed. Apply total bleed to a target. 
I mean, if everybody had this unholy, I mean, there's some weirdness you can do there for sure. We only have seven tokens available, so, you know, look around. Whenever this character moves, they gain four charge. That could be a fun thing. It only costs one token. Uh, whenever this character ruins a card, spawn a rend in your hand. You'll five damage apply to, uh, to vulnerable and one bleeding. At the start of the turn, if the character has no allies, they gain 30 armor, five charge, and three stamina. No allies at all? It, it might be kind of fun to do a lone wolf run. I wonder if that's even possible. I'll unlock it for the stupid chance for that to happen, which is basically none. Deal six damage for each ruin card. Ruin all cards in hand. See, you know what? I'll pick both of these just to increase the chance that uh, a ruin deck could even happen. Once again, will we be playing another uh, another campaign? Uh, we'll see. I'm not I'm not so sure. At the very least, we're probably going to take a, uh, a breather for a moment, but I super loved what I saw. Uh, the game is in very early access right now. It may be the kind of thing where we just come back and we do uh, another run when it gets a big update. That could be a, that could be a fun way to do it. There's obviously uh, new types of characters: beaver, hare, wolf, weasel. Uh, over the course of it, we saw everybody but the uh, the wolf. But I think you know, like, what does the game need? It needs more enemies. Uh, it needs obviously just more more variety for sure. You know, but like, I love love the spirit of it i love the unique units uh and how they all have their own cards and their own talent trees in there like i feel like what really shown through is that your choices feel very very important when you're uh you know you're picking your cards when you're picking your characters everything and i think that shines through really very well like uh right before the final boss we got the option to buy new or recruit new units and i look at them and I was right to think this because they trashed my deck in the in the final fight because they died. I look at them and I'm like, do these cards, are these cards worth taking if it means we have an extra body? We have an extra body. Are these cards worth it? And I like that, that core idea right there and trying to build a cohesive... You know, like a cohesive grand story to what you want to build around for your whole run. And then having unique character-specific stories in your deck as well is so fascinating. And really, like, such a unique gameplay loop that I, uh, I'm i very curious to see how this game develops. Um, but just thinking, and, and you know, like, here's a couple things I want to change. Let me rename my characters. I would love to name my characters after, you know, people are supporting on Patreon or something like that. Uh, it, it's, it's very, I think it's a core component to like Darkest Dungeon runs, like Pokemon Nuzlocke, things where you're trying to attach yourself to your characters. Uh, I did get it, you know, I got attached to Dannington near the end. He was, it was always you. It was always you. But like, you know, if you could just name it after other, you know, that is a super, super minor thing. That'd be great. Obviously new, uh, new customization. Like, literally just, you know, add more animals. Maybe even make it so, like, I could have, I, maybe I missed something, but maybe make it so certain things uh, are race-specific. I don't know if that was a thing or not. I, I couldn't really gather that, but, like, you know, maybe weasels are, uh, weasels get a bonus, or they have certain talents that only show up if you are a weasel. Like, make one or two uh, race-specific talents. That could be fun. That could be really, really fun. Because then you'd be, like, looking out for specific archetypes. Uh, I do know that there's also, like... Yeah, there's a mouse. We didn't see the mouse, uh, as far as I'm aware. And we didn't see the wolf. I think that there's so much, so much potential in this game. I very, very much enjoyed my first run here. Uh, I don't think that this is the last you'll see of it on my channel. It may probably take a break until it gets another big update. Uh, so that we don't burn ourselves out and like uh, never want to touch it again in the future when it gets a bunch of updates because clearly there's you know there, there's a lot that can be done here that i think will be done and i'm very excited to see what that is thank you for watching though subscribe to the channel to catch out what i uh when you know what i play next after this and to make sure you get updated for when i do cover this game again in the future because like i said it probably will happen i very very much enjoyed it thank you thank you Check out the channel for Roguelike some more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.